Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about Inner Springs 101. Let's go. One of the most important things in a mattress is the support of the mattress. And one of the best ways to support a mattress is by the springs, the inner springs. Not all inner springs are gonna be created equal. There are many different types of inner spring, which will affect the, the support of the mattress and also the feel of the mattress. So we're gonna just show you some of the major, the main types of inner springs that are gonna be used. And the inner springs, they've been around for over 120 years in mattresses. They started back in the 1800s with the horse and buggy. Did you know that? The horse and buggy, yep, yep. I knew that. Fun mm -hmm. fact, but the first one was this guy right here, the Bonnell coil. So Gabe, what makes the Bonnell coil distinct? You see the Bonnell coil right here? It's got that hourglass look shape, right? You, you know, the uh, it's a bit wider up top. It goes narrows down and wider back at the bottom. It does provide a good support. You know, the decent support, the, the, decent, decent support. Decent support yeah. You know, um, however, what you would notice on a Bonnell coil is it can be a bit more bouncy and have more motion in it. Yes. And the reason why, because these wires are all connected by this other wire called a helical wire. Yeah, this is called a helical wire. This keeps everything together. Yeah, it keeps them all in line. And but if someone's moving, you could just kind of moves everything else as well. It's relatively inexpensive to to make as well compared to you know maybe like a, a pocket coil or other type of coil. But it's more of a traditional. It's what's in a lot of the maybe the lower and entry level mattresses, right? Yeah, I would say it definitely is more of a uh, entry level basic coil system right yeah. here. And this right here, real quick, this wire is called a border wire around it. This is like the frame of the mattress. It gives it more stability, more structure to it. You know, you'll see some with, you know, which I would recommend all, all mattresses have some sort of edge support on it. But this is the border wire of the inner spring system. So I'm going to show you now the next step up. The, uh, where another common coil system is going to be the evolution from the Bonnell pretty much jump to the offset coil. Now look at the offset. I mean, with the entrain eye, they, they both look like screens, but the one that makes it more distinct is the, how this is hinged a bit. You can kind of see how it has this, more of this, like a rectangular shape to it. This allows it to flex a little better, you know, for, especially when there's two people in the bed, it just it just flows better with you than the, than the Bonnell coil. If that Bonnell coil, does not flex much at all. Offset coil flexes quite a bit. And then here is another distinguishing difference. You see the direction of the helical wire? So you see how it goes more vertical where the Bonnell? Now, this is more common. Now, not, not every Bonnell or every offset, but what I see, this is this is this seems to be more common where the helical wire is gonna be more on the horizontal level side of side, where the helical wire on the offset is going to be more head to foot, which is going to give you better motion separation as well. So those are the, the two things that will make them distinguishably different is the way it supports, the way it's hinged, the way it flows with you, and then the way the helical wire goes. The offset foot is a more advanced coil system. Now that brings us to third one that's more advanced, and that is going to be our Marshall coil. I'm gonna show you that right now. I would say my favorite type of coil system is the Marshall coil. A lot of people call it the pocketed coil. Mm -hmm. There's a, the other term, a case coil. So, but you see, obviously visually looking at it is quite different. So these, each coil is in its own pocket. You see how it's, how it is all pocket. Now this, this is a coil system that we use from Texas pocket screen. It is a little bit different than your traditional pocket coil the two big advantages of the pocket coil the one is the uh one is the um motion separation right so you're not going to have that transfer in the motion if you're moving around in bed you're not going to disturb your partner that's a, a big one and then um another one is the it just gives a different type of support and the way it conforms to your body you have all that wire in the traditional traditional one where it's connected by the helical wire so it doesn't really conform to your body yeah whereas this allows the conforming to your body men are bigger in the shoulders uh, women a little bit bigger in the hips right so that's where it's uh you know especially for side sleepers you want that conforming to it so the, there's definitely a better conformity on the marshall coil the pocket coil now going a little bit more advanced we just shot a video with it. There, not all pocket coils are equal, which 
I'll show you a picture or we'll link it to it. We had we just did another video on the different type of pocket coils. We just do show you real quick how we do these in four packs. The coil system that we use is from Texas Pocket Springs, Pocket Springs, but they're in four packs, which your typical pocket coil is gonna be just one row of of coils, which might not mean mean much except that it does affect the support the stability of it where there's less lean with their one line there's definitely gonna be more lean but since it's in a four pack there's a lot more stability in in the coil system so but yeah i'm gonna i'll link our pocket coil 101 video to to this one so you guys can see the differences the show so side by side of a traditional pocket coil with the uh the quad coil yeah we'll a little bit more in depth on that one so that is pocket coils versus Bonnell coils versus optic coils 101. So yeah, hope this helps you guys when you guys are trying to test it on mattresses. These are a couple things to look out for. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and- And like our page, download, download our mattress shopping guide. You know, when you're shopping for a mattress, good information to, uh, to get you uh, educated. Thanks for watching.